Hi, I'm Joey Piscatelli. I'm a victim of sexual abuse by a priest. His name was Father Steve Whelan. He worked in San Francisco in 2003 when I filed a lawsuit against the Catholic Church. He worked in the Diocese of San Francisco for Cardinal William Lovada. I first met Lovada on Peter York Way in San Francisco while I was protesting because this priest was in ministry. This is the sign I held. When I met Lovada on the sidewalk on Peter York Way across the street from the Chancery, Cardinal Lovada brushed past me and called me a fucking idiot. Now, I'm a big, big boy, I'm a contractor, and I've heard this kind of language before. And it isn't that it hurt me that bad, but it's very triggering to hear it from a supposed holy man who is in the hierarchy of the Catholic Church and has no feelings for some of the victims that he has come in contact with. If you're wondering about my credibility as compared to Cardinal Lovato's credibility, let me go through a short history and you can determine for yourself which one of us is credible. I filed the lawsuit in 2003 and it went to court in July of 2006. I won the court case. That's a home run for me and it's a zero and a strikeout for Cardinal Lovada and his boys. Now let's take a look at Cardinal Lovada's credibility. This is a partial list of admitted, convicted, and accused sex offenders in the Diocese of San Francisco. If you look at the top name here, Father Gregory Ingalls, that was Cardinal Lovada's personal choice for Lovada's uh, canon lawyer. Father Gregory Ingalls is also a serial pedophile and a child rapist. Now, Cardinal Lovada knew this man was a sex offender when he chose him for his, cardin for his uh, uh, canon lawyer. If you thought I said that uh, wrong and you, you're hearing things, let me say it again. Cardinal Lovada knew Father Gregory Ingalls was a sex offender when he chose him for his canon lawyer. That's a big strikeout for Cardinal Lovada. Now we'll go back to my credibility. The church appealed the case and it went to superior court. I won that case also. That's two home runs for me and uh, more uh, discredibility for Cardinal Lovada and his boys. Now let's go back to Father, for Cardinal Lovada's uh, chart here of uh, accused pedophiles in San Francisco. Monsignor Patrick O'Shea is the poster boy for uh, serial molesters in San Francisco. He's molested so many kids I can't even count them, so I'll just skip over that and go to Father Bernard de Beni. Cardinal Lovada chose Father Bernard de Beni to be his top liaison priest for the West Coast. Father de Beni has had allegations of sexual abuse raised against him ever since the 60s. Now, Lovada knew that this man had allegations of sexual abuse against him, and he still made him his top liaison priest for the West Coast. While Father Bernard de Beni was working for Cardinal Lovada in San Francisco, he was busted by the San Francisco police for molesting a child, and they literally caught him in the act. And this was while he was working for Cardinal Lovada. So that's another strikeout for Lovada and another uh, home run for my credibility. Now let's go towards the appeal. Lovada's boys went back to court again for an appeal. This went to the second appellate district in Los Angeles, and I won this too. That's three home runs for me, zero for Cardinal Lovada's boys, and a big blow to Lovada's credibility. Going back to this chart, Father Steve Whelan, the priest I sued, who Lovada promoted and protected and shielded, was left in ministry with kids clear up to the day of the verdict in my case. That means that Lovada gambled with the safety of children and left this guy in ministry knowing that I was accusing him of being a sexual molester. 
more towards Father Cardinal Lovato's credibility. I sent several letters to Cardinal Lovato and Cardinal Ratzinger asking them to remove Whelan from ministry because Whelan was a dangerous predator who had uh, violently molested me and they did absolutely nothing about it. More towards their credibility. Cardinal Lovato had a policy that said that any claims of abuse of San Francisco priests had to be investigated by his independent review board. They told me, my wife and several victims, that they did two investigations by their in, uh, independent review board in my case, and they found me not credible, and they found Father William credible. Now, Bishop Wester met with me personally and said that they found me not to be telling the truth, and Whelan is going to be staying in ministry with kids because they found me not credible. Uh, what is damning about this particular letter that Wester wrote, and it's signed in wet ink by Wester, is that he said the Independent Review Board used my deposition to do the review in my case in 2004, which found me incredi not credible, and that uh, the diocese has chosen to stay with Whelan. However, the head of the Independent Review Board quit in 2004 and said they never did a review in my case at all. That means the Diocese of San Francisco, Cardinal Lovada, and Bishop Wester, who wrote this letter, were lying to me. Father Purdy, who's the provincial for the Slesians, also said that the allegations were investigated in 2004 by the Independent Review Board set up by Levada and the Diocese of San Francisco, and they found that the claims against Whelan were not credible. Father Purdy also lied because there was no review done in my case at all. Proof of what I'm saying is in an article in the San Francisco Weekly, and you can Google it or read the San Francisco Weekly and see that the Diocese of San Francisco, Lovada, Wester, and Father Purdy were not telling the truth. Now, Cardinal Lovada is crying to the public, saying that the New York Times and the media is being unfair to him. Think about what Cardinal Lovada is saying. Cardinal Lovada has placed numerous known pedophiles, child molesters, and rapists in ministry knowingly and has the audacity to say that the media is being unfair to him. He's also said and made statements to the effect of 20 or 25 years ago the Catholic Church hierarchy did not know that the rape of children was something that they should have reported to police. Now, who in their right mind would believe that? I don't care who you took off the street and you asked them, is the vicious, horrendous rape of a kid something that should be reported to police? Anybody in their right mind would tell you it should have been reported to the police. Now, Cardinal Lovada is the prefect for the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith. Historically, that is the office of the Inquisition, which was in charge of the uh, torture, rape, mutilation, and burning of several hundred thousand innocent women and children as witches. Cardinal Lovada is the general inquisitor. Ironically, and because they said in this document that they saw my deposition, they know I'm a pagan. Cardinal Lovada probably knew I was a pagan and a so-called witch, and it's ironic that I am the only pagan witch who has ever sued the Catholic Church in USA history and won. Maybe that's why I'm a thorn in his side. Cardinal Levada has two enemies. One, himself and his history, and two, the truth. <laughs>